Why is the Trump administration doing this? Well, it's actually kind of a parallel action. So you could have the trade truce on one hand, uh, President Trump saying he's not going to oppose additional duties on China right now while they talk. But at the same time, the Commerce Department is coming up with these, uh, with these duties. How that works is this is the usual process. They go case by case. Uh, and obviously, President Trump has, has imposed unilateral duties uh, on China, on Chinese goods, but also on steel. So here, what the Commerce Department is saying is that there have been unfair trading practices involving, in this case, steel wheels. And therefore, it is opposing those additional duties. It's saying what has happened uh, is that some goods are sent to other countries and then uh, to try to avoid these anti-dumping kinds of duties. Uh, we saw the other day that Vietnam, mm -hmm. uh, uh, very large increases in, in tariffs were imposed on Vietnam. Um, as the administration was saying, what's happening there is that they were taking goods uh, from other places, China and other places. And they and, were always seen as a beneficiary of this trade. Right, and that, yeah. and that they were then uh, going to uh, you know, try to get around the, the tariffs and then send them to the U.S. So the, while we're seeing uh, these negotiations with China go on on the trade mm. uh, matters, at the same time, there's these additional duties. And it just shows how the U.S. is operating on a number of fronts with tariffs. Mm. And Jody, it does seem like those talks between the U.S. and China have started or will start imminently. Let's take a listen to Peter Navarro, of course, a trade advisor and a China hawk, speaking to Bloomberg. As we speak, uh, plans are being made uh, to re-engage with the Chinese um, at, uh, both in China and here in the United States. So uh, what we prefer to do always is negotiate uh, behind closed doors in good faith. So, Jody, do we know what China is considering, what they could put on the table to move some kind of deal forward? Well, the administration uh, says that talks have already begun uh, and will continue. We heard that from Larry Kudlow, the president's chief economic advisor. Uh, we've heard from people familiar with the situation who spoke to Bloomberg that uh, there are plans uh, or considerations by the, by the Chinese to buy more agricultural goods from the U.S., like uh, soybeans, corn, pork. And, of course, the administration has wanted this to happen as part of the negotiations. They want to see that trade uh, gap with China uh, narrowed significantly. Uh, how much China will buy, it apparently depends on the progress in the negotiations and is not thought to be as much as they had agreed to during earlier rounds of talks, which ended uh, May 1st when President Trump said that China was reneging on its promises. Now with the agreement at the G20 and the agreement by the Trump administration not to impose more duties on China at this point, uh, it looks like Chinese are saying we will consider buying some more goods. So another perhaps sweetener uh, in the talks as they as they progress.